fraud, a 6 million naira bribe was given to the INEC chairman before he released the original presidential result. Atiku exposed what he did to get it. Can you imagine? Atiku is even the one that trickishly got out these original results from the INEC chairman. He's even the one that exposed the INEC chairman, tricking him with 6 million naira, which he collected and, you know, accepted to release the original result. If not, this wouldn't have come out. What is this? Where are we heading to in this country? My dear listeners, I will tell you that this is very, very uncalled for and shouldn't be accepted in any way. It is a big slap on the cheek and a big error to say. With this, what will happen to the INEC chairman? Can someone please say this? Let's check the content. This is Morning News. Presidential aspirants of the People Democratic Party, PDP Atiku Abubakar, has accused the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, of withholding vital electoral documents necessary to support its case against President Bola Tunubu. Atiku claims that despite paying $6 million to INEC for the certification of this document, he has been denied access to them. Atiku finished second in the February presidential election is challenging the victory of Tunubu from the All Progressive Congress APC. The proceedings of the presidential election petition court in Abuja resumed on Tuesday, June 6, where Atiku's lawyer, Eyitayo Jegede, expressed frustration over INEC refusal to provide the electoral document required for their case. Jagere specifically sought to present results sheets from 10 out of 21 local government areas of Kogi State as evidence against Tunubu. The documents in question were from Angpa, Dekina, Ida, Ofu, Alamburu, Yagba East, Yagba West, Kaba, Bunu, and Igalamela Odolu. However, the court panel led by Aruna Tisemani ruled that it would be inappropriate to submit sensitive documents, piecemeal, citing difficulties in making and um, numbering them as exhibits. Um, I will say that the court is becoming too lenient to the INEC chairman. And that is why he is, you know, he is treating and hand and is treating the courts anyhow. I think the courts should take a decision, a decision concerning him. Yes, there should be a decision concerning him. And if that decision is not taken now, I wonder what is going to happen in the nearest future. References will be made to this very uh, election probably in the future. If someone somehow doesn't meet up with 25% or if the election is rigged in this same process. So for the future of this country and for the safety of this country and to be able to cut away any error that may happen in the future for making reference to this error that has just been made now, that is why it needs to be corrected. And it should be done with immediate threats like quick, quick. Like quick, quick. You understand? And that's just it. So, my people, my people, the story is becoming very very interesting all right everyone you've all heard what um article abaka just said uh, concerning the 
uh, sensitive materials and the the INEC refusal to make it available despite its payment of six million not until an additional of it was now made available before he was now able to gain access to it <laughs> now it is not only Atiku that is now making use of that original material but even Peter will be and that is where truth was actually now discovered yes I'm telling you that is where the truth was now discovered so um from this part i will now say that it is very clear that the INEC chairman deserves an immediate arrest with no mercy you understand with no single mercy yes let's quickly um hear from you and let's know what your take What's your advice and what's your opinion on all that I've just been said right now, maybe? Don't forget to leave down below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.